This is a quick video of my, I believe it's a 52 or 53 GMC panel truck. This is the extended version. So it's the eight lug. It's not the short one like the half ton. See the push button door handles and the vent windows, kind of the giveaway for the year. I bought this somewhere out in Missouri. I can't ever remember the name of those little towns, but this was actually on eBay and the guy had bought it to cut up and use the lower sheet metal to fix a rusty half ton. And he said the thing was just in too good a condition to have the heart to cut it up and so he sold it complete i don't know anything about the history of it the lion's share of these trucks were bought by businesses and obviously the sides of them were painted up as rolling billboards this particular one i just don't know anything about which business had it or what it was used for all that you can really say uh, is that they did cut these little windows in the sides and something like that would probably be pretty tough to overcome, but I do have a solution for that. I have cut little pieces of real, real thin gauge steel and kind of let them rust down and I'm going to paint signs of some kind on there and just kind of put them over that hole and it'll look like signs when it's done wish that idea was original to me but i had another one of these panel trucks that i just thought the thing had a pop sign on the side of it till i looked in the inside and saw where they had cut so that was a functional repair cool thing is is once you have the signs lettered up, painted, put on there, you'd never tell that there was some ugly 70s extruded aluminum sliding window hacked into it. So all of your panels had these barn doors in the back. Your Suburbans had the option of the clamshell gate and the upper hatch with the single window. Not exactly sure. I don't think they ever changed that door handle to the push button type on the back. It was always this sliding style, uh, which you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. That's where I got it. It was Clinton, Missouri. Yep. So somebody drove this to high school in Clinton, Missouri. A lot of these old stickers, they'll show the dates. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the date on it. Pretty straight, pretty solid truck for Missouri. I just kind of bought this thing because I liked it. I probably will keep one of these 235s. We seem to get them left and right. And I only say this half jokingly, but they're still making old 50s trucks and grain trucks and farm trucks and 235s somewhere around central Kansas. Uh, and you see the amount of them that Silas gets in. That's kind of only half joking that I say that. I, I almost think they've got to be still making them somewhere in this area because they just keep turning up. So I haven't really gotten too crazy over saving 235s if i get them people want them i'll sell them because kind of always have this idea that there will be more around the next corner so other things of note about this truck this is the painted trim version so it'd be more of the standard model not the deluxe model you can see the painted back bumper then we'll come around, show the painted grill. Oh yeah, they also had these white painted hood emblems. 
your chrome grill trucks had chrome hood emblems just a few differences on the GMC your whole front clip your hood your grill your bumper splash apron in the front there and then I want to say on these pretty much it was that speaker grill that said General Motors truck and then your horn button of course now your 54 I believe was when they changed and then like 55 59s and then your 60 to 66 all those had different dashes in them you can see she was kind of shagged out in the 70s there's just little remnants of where they put the carpet over the doors and then they were painted that ugly blue color and then side inside yeah just some cardboard boxes for ebay stuff stored in there does have the original seats these have that weird 70s like early american i guess you'd call it upholstery with the little carriages and the little trains and the little churches and the steamboats we think that stuff's kind of cheesy now but back then uh that was just a uh, style obviously household not automotive upholstery unfortunately these have had the gritters chew a hole in them so either way they'll have to be redone so no no arguing whether to keep them although if that upholstery was in good shape it'd kind of be just a weird conversation piece to leave them like that so over on this side you can see i think there's one 17.5 on here and that's actually size that you could legitimately still get tires for and a guy would want to have those older style wheels with the hubcap clips to be able to retain the stock look which to me that's very important i just don't like that cheesy aftermarket stuff just not my thing all stock down to the hubcaps just the way god and general motors intended so this is an old riverside which was sold by montgomery ward you see the little mw emblem there and the coolest thing about this old tire they called it the money maker all these trucks were used in business and there was some commercial aspect to them which i think is the origin of the semantics of moneymaker i don't really know much about the engine that's in here i mean obviously if it turned it'd be cool to keep the original gmc6 i don't know that it does i think having sat in missouri like that probably a good chance it seized Always could be rebuilt. It'd be kind of neat to keep it stock original GMC, but we'll figure that out if that point ever comes. It is factory black, which for me is kind of a selling point. I really like original black paint vehicles. Also, another benefit of that color is that it's the easiest to match. There's only one shade of black, it's black. It's not like some of the whites and creams and like white, there's literally infinite shades of it. And it'll show the least because of the reflections, but when you're up close, you can tell the shades always off, uh, at least the average guy that's around bodywork has a eye for that sort of thing can pretty easily tell it. So, appreciate everybody sticking around for this quick walk around of this truck. This area of the building, these are pretty much our personal family vehicles. And so, if you check back on some of the other videos, we'll go down the list and take a look at some else of what's here.